there is no advanced restart button in this rom so directly i will turn off the smartphone before that let me remove all the passwords go into security sorry fingerprint face unlock screen lock turn off screen lock okay all have been removed now turn off the smartphone done now press the volume up button and power button simultaneously in order to boot into recovery done this is the latest TWRP recovery available for POCO X3. Go to wipe section and select advanced wipe and select dialog catcher data and swipe here to wipe it and press this home button and select install and select the storage wherever you downloaded the ROM zip file everything. Go to that folder and select the first firmware Surya Global 12.5.4 firmware this one global firmware flash it done go again to home section and select here install and select the pixel experience surya 12.0 2022 222 this is the latest build as you can see guys with the android version 12 and february security patch and 2022 second 22 this is the latest build available for POCO X. It takes a little bit of time to flash the ROM. Wait until it gets flashed. As you can see, the ROM zip file has been flashed. Go to again. Wipe here and select format data and type here YES and press this tick button. Done. Go to reboot and select the system. That's how the flashing method. Very simple. Follow the same steps. Use the same recovery download the rom zip file properly use the firmware download it properly then you won't get any problem and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and by the way our poco x booted into and 12 pixel experience rom on this poco x with february security patch and latest build of february 22 Let's see what all the features, bugs, benchmark results, BGMI gameplay, everything will be explained in deep in my channel such that watch until end of the video such that you will understand everything. So let's begin this video. <laughs> Hey welcome back to my new video this is Sampathy watching Sampath Sanfx YouTube channel and this is a POCO X pixel experience ROM with Android version 12 as you can see and the kernel user is 4.14.18 laum 91 r 11600 smxx00 and the build age is February 22 Tuesday latest build available for POCO X and February security patch is also available and I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 5 minutes you can see here the maximum is 146 and average is 143 and minimum is 132 and no CPU thermal throttling has been detected while testing this CPU throttling test and coming to dialer here let me increase the volume a little bit okay you will get this kind of dialer and there is a video call feature available let's see whether call recording is available or not no there is no call recording feature available in this rom and this is how the app drawer and app it's fast enough it's quick enough to move between the apps and everything is very quick as you can see fast and this is how the quick settings panel there is no advanced restart button and this is how the settings panel you get and you get this kind of widgets and are tall based and wallpapers and styles you get print of wallpapers as you can see bloom and living universe in there are live versions of it also you can want if you want you can change print of wallpapers from here and coming to camera application you get google go camera but i have installed this 
Arnava build, Jcam all are working fine, like all features are working fine, video, camera mode, everything is working fine. If not, you can use any other Gcam ports also, NGCam, many ports are available for Poco X, but this one, I liked it, pretty good, it's working. Fine, coming to benchmark results, here I'll show you with Geekbench results first. The multi score is not that okay, single score is not that good as you can see. Single score is 400 and multi score is 1643. But single score should be around 550, 560, like that. But let's see, Android benchmark results here you will get very good scores like 361,652. And temperature raise is just 0 0.5 degrees Celsius, and battery drainage is 3 percent while doing this testing. The scores are pretty good, but Geekbench scores are not that great and I don't believe in this benchmark result just to see how it is I will be showing you the actual performance in this ROM while playing the BGMA and overall performance is also really good in this ROM and it has been improved a bit compared to previous version and coming to DRM info here you get level 1 certification which is working fine to watch the OTT applications in HD resolution there is no problem regarding that and coming to speed test here I have 100 Mbps Geo Giga Fiber connection it's working fine it's pulling up to 90 to 95 Mbps it's fine and also with mobile internet is also working fine this ROM and there is a carrier aggregation available in this ROM it's working seamlessly in this ROM coming into safety net status it get passed obviously as you can see you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay yono sbi anything you want to use you can use all will be working fine in instagram by the way if you want to get the camera application or anything because i can't share everything in youtube description you can dm me in insta then i can give you the links to particular whatever you ask if it is available i definitely share with you the official links and let's go into settings here and the biggest change i noticed in this rom is security options as you can see screen lock that's there and here face unlock and fingerprint lock face unlock has been ordered, added that is really good and there are some options like redo face scan and skip lock screen that's really good and allow face unlock on lock screen there are plenty of options and they claim that it's, it's not a secure one but anyhow let's show you the fingerprint unlock first as you can see it's fast enough as you can see it's fast now let me show you the face unlock it's also really good as you can see it's you can see here it gets unlocked very quick just you need to swipe like that i can disable that let me go into security into the face unlock and fingerprint unlock face unlock skip lock screen you need to enable this then it will be seamless let me show you once again as you can see it's very very quick you can unlock this smartphone this is a very cool feature this one had an under 11 pixel experience now it's been adding in pixel experience tool also but one thing still required is let me show you the dark theme here as you can see it's not completely dark if you guys notice or not that one thing in the display into the dark theme they need to add the presets here pitch black gray green whatever the users need they can customize from that that i need to expect in this at least a make pixar experience plus rom for poco x and add such features that uh, my request to the developer who are making this rom that would be very good to have with this stock experience on poco x that's what my intention and uh, battery usage it haven't recorded for first boot i don't know it's good only previous levels also good and you can check out 90 percent was during flashing the rom from ui 13 to this and it's really good 74 percent i set up every app i need to install manually bgm and completely i should install geekbench i should install and run the score and to benchmark i should install i should set up everything so the battery life is really good and the device does not get any warm or overheating like that while setting up it's really good 
and display settings you get minimum refresh rate maximum refresh rate tap to wake lcd features those things are still present accessibility menu is also still present as you can see it's a handy feature to have if you enable it you get this kind of shortcut you can enable volume up and down you can increase the decrease the brightness those things are present and it's a handy feature to have in this kind of stock experience if you do have any problem with volume buttons or if you don't want to use that and also brightness letter it's very difficult to handle then you can use this kind of accessibility menu and all the features are also working fine no problem like this uh, like for example these things mic access camera access location all are working fine and coming to screen record you get this kind of options device order and microphone you can record in this rom many people ask about that also so i'm included and obviously you get google photos unlimited storage regarding that no need to worry and into the system into the guest and ceiling status is also enforcing and um, encryption is done here not decrypted you just get this kind of question navigation just to increase the left edge and right edge option there is no option to i mean no more options to increase the pillar increase the radius but anyhow it's an pixel experience minimal customization will be there but i am really happy that they added the face unlock it was there in pixel experience and 11 also that has came very fast in and at all that's really appreciated and uh, all are working fine actually as you can see it kept to 120 hertz refresh rate minimum and maximum it's working really fine you can see here you can take the screenshot and select basic settings all are working fine let's see the bgmi gameplay and you can definitely try it out as a daily driver many are using this rom as a daily driver let's see what all the bgmi graphics we get and how is the actual gameplay in pixel experience rom with february security patch graphics settings you get smooth plus ultra and hg plus i no 60 fps gameplay anyhow if you want such kind of roms i already made videos regarding that also and you can use gfx tool to increase the fps and let me increase the volume as you can see volume is also loud enough the stereo speakers effect is still there no lag whatsoever but definitely you can't expect like flagship experience in this smartphone but definitely it's playable okay i'll come back as you seen the gameplay is also fine and the rom is also smooth enough just they added face unlock and updated to february security patch it's fine everything is working fine i really like the rom if you want basic things and this kind of pixel experience like google pixel like experience you want you can try this one and there is upcoming video coming within week or month i don't know the pixel os is also available with similar kind of customization but if you want more customization there are plenty of roms you can check out but this is very simple and easy enough you can definitely try it out as a daily driver and earphones working fine no problem regarding that also let me see whether that direct sound settings are there or not yeah there is a direct sound settings if you use these things you can experience a little bit better you can customize them and it will be better to have these options and let me show you the charging animation as you can see that oveling effect is still available that's an android 12 feature as you can see that's available and you get very good charging speeds also it depends upon 
your room temperature also you can use 33 watt charger and this 10 watt charger also speeds are normal and battery life is also really good you can definitely try it out as a daily driver and share your experience regarding this po pixel experience on your poco x3 tvs how is it how are you facing any bugs or are you facing any like problems like that you can share here such that other people can understand and help you in this situations and that's all guys in this video i hope i explained everything thank you for watching guys we'll meet with another interesting video until that keeps smelling bye bye for now